Hey everybody, it's the boss lady here coming to you from my vehicle. Oh y'all. So those jeans that I had bought from uh Walmart that were seven dollars when I was um where are we? Were we in Wisconsin when I bought those jeans? I don't know, the weekend of my anniversary. Anyway, I got those jeans on today, baby. And when I tell you they fit and fit and fit, <laughs> yeah, hugging every ripple, dipple, and curve, but I'm so grateful, okay? So I put my jacket on to give me a little bit of razzle dazzle, a little bit of flair. But I got on my Bumblebee shirt, Queen Bee, and my Bumblebee earrings because it's just that kind of day. So not sure when you will actually see this video. It is Friday, the Friday before um, Labor Day. So, I had so many videos for this week that I'm not able to keep up. So, sorry you're getting these videos last, or not last minute, but you're getting these videos, like, you know, delayed. Hopefully, you'll get them, I'll get back to being, like, on time. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. Just stopped and got me some coffee. It says, let's boo this. And then it says, "This life is short, stay awake for it. You see, I was rubbing my eyes and trying to make sure I didn't have no sleep in my eyes. Because, child, for real. Um, whoo, Lord. Lord have mercy. I was hoping at the time of this video that I was would tell you I'm putting in my notice, y'all. Or that my last day is, blah, blah, blah. And who knows? By the time I get ready to load this video, maybe I'll have an update at that time. But um, I can tell you this. Um, in the video where I talked about, in the wink wink video, when I talked about, um, you know, the second job and how, you know, they had propositioned me, you know, or I won't say proposition. Well, I guess two weeks ago, two well, three weeks ago, um, saying that they had a position available, they thought only of me, blah, 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 you know, but there was that 10-day waiting period. Well, you know, I waited the 10 days, and <laughs> and I had the 10 days wrong because I thought it was like 10 calendar days, and it was 10 business days. So anyway, got to the 10th business day, and they were like, can we have her apply now? So I was able to apply. And uh, the next day I was called, like literally I was called in the next day for uh, the interview. So I did the interview, killed it. Like I said in the video, killed it. Oh my God. Um, as of this recording right now, so like I said, that interview was on a Tuesday. On Tuesday, this is now Friday. Um, I have not heard from the first job, the one that I told you was like super lucrative. Yeah, haven't heard from them. So I'm like, okay, you know, whatever. Um, so fast forward, um, the job that I killed, the second one, Lord have mercy, Jesus. What in the baby Lord? This must be a new, new, mm. one of God's creatures doesn't know how to drive the freeway. Babe, hold on, y'all. Because a girl, and I can't even get little because there's a cop up there. Dag on it. Because I sure was about to shoot past they butt. Oh, my Lord. I got to get behind them because the cop is on the side of me. Or that side of me, but on that, you know what I mean. Anyway, y'all. So, because <laughs> I was about to be like, pew, I'm you? I ain't late for work, but dang. They literally was on the unramp or getting on the... Anyway. So, had the interview, got back to work. They said it was a unanimous vote. They want me. So, they're moving my app to make an offer status. Well, that was on Tuesday. Here it is Friday. And since then, so Wednesday, Thursday, um, at the time of this, this is before everybody's at work, so nothing has transpired yet as of today. But the um, the supervisor or manager 
is like, hey, you know, we moved her to this status. We need you to go ahead and make the offer. And I know they're inundated with work, you know, because they need people and da-da-da-da. Not in where I'll be, but other places. Anyway, so I haven't got the offer yet, but it's coming. Y'all, I'm glad that it's coming, but I'm like, I, I'm going to need it to hurry up. Like, hurry up, hurry up. Like, for real, hurry up. Because... Y'all, I don't know how many more days I can sit there and smile and grin and <laughs> because I got an email yesterday that I got discussed this morning. And let me tell you, that email rubbed me so far the wrong way that I was ready to get up this morning and be like, you know what? Today, today is the day. But I'm not going to do that because I was raised, you never close one door without the other door being open. Even though right now I would consider the window is cracked, <laughs> the door is not open. You know what I'm saying? I ain't saying nothing yet. So I don't want to, you know, mess myself up, you know, and I got, you know, bills to pay or whatever. So, but y'all, yeah. So I had to go give me some coffee this morning because... A girl is tired, and I just need a little bit of razzle-dazzle to get me through the day. Because, mm, I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Um, but, I did go and visit with my job, uh, new job coming, um, the other day. And I was there for a whole nother reason. When I tell you where it's at, you're going to be like, What? But I was there for a whole nother reason. And, you know, I'm seeing staff. And staff is like, hey, how you doing? Hey, how you doing? Hey, how you doing? I'm like, hi. You know. But there was one staff. Older person. He said, hey. I heard you gonna be. And I was like. And it was loud. So then other staff that was around was looking like, that's who that is? man <laughs> and so i um <laughs> i found my new manager and, and i said you told the staff she said uh i kind of let it slip i said and then she said i'm sorry and i said no and she said but i did tell them that you have another possible so you know she said and just like i told you it's okay you know if that other position is more you know lucrative for you and better for your better fit for your family you know i understand no hard feelings but i did did slip with the staff and i said it's okay i said i was just shocked at the responses when I walked out here and everybody's like, hey, hey, how you doing? Hey, I was like, I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> but it made me feel good in the in the big scheme of things because it just lets me know that they're excited. I mean, they a lot of them, they know of me. Um, a lot of them know me. And she just adores me. So she's like, <laughs> yeah, I know this is about to be. And she's, and then, and then, uh, another person that knows me said that, um, he was very excited because, uh, they need more women of faith. Now, you know. Not that, now nah, I will say, it's not like a faith-based um, establishment, but, excuse me, there are a lot of folks in the establishment who are faith-based, okay? Let me say that again. It's not a faith-based establishment, not a faith-based company, but a lot of people in the establishment are faith-based, and... They know, without a shadow of a doubt, I'm a praying woman. So, and my aura speaks for itself. I don't have to go around, let me quote this Bible, and let me quote that Bible, and, and let me, well, you know, I just was reading this, and I don't need to do all that. Because my, my appearance, my, my aura speaks for itself. They know I walk with the Father. Call on Him every time I can. You know what I mean? 
even when I can't say nothing, I can wave my hand. I'm just saying. So, not trying to preach, but I'm just I'm trying to let you know some. I'm trying to let you know some. So, anyway. So, I brought all that up to say, I just got my coffee. <laughs> and you know what? I took a sip and didn't pray. So, let me pray. Father God, in the name of Jesus, I come to you humbly as I know how. Thank you, Lord, for this day. Lord, I ask you, go before me. Walk in that building before me, Lord. Please be on the tip of my tongue and everything that comes from my mouth is nothing but you, God. Lord, I'm thanking you for my coffee. I I want you just to bless the hands that prepared it. Lord, she was working by herself again today and I know it was a lot for her. So I just thank you in advance. I hope and pray that this cup is free from all hurt, harm, and disease in the name of Jesus. Amen. All right. <laughs> I just had to get that out there. Sometimes you gotta, you got to, you know, this isn't, this isn't for show. This isn't for play play. I mean, this is real. This is my life. This is real. Cause honey, hmm. But anyway, so I was talking with my girl who demanded my coffee and, uh, now that wasn't B. I don't know. I ain't seen B. I was trying to wear my stuff so she could see my clothes. But anyway. Um, but I didn't see her today. So anyway, but it was the other girl who I'm cool with in there too, because she makes good coffee. Uh, but she asked me how was my day going. I said, you know, I said I wish I could tell you my day is going great and that's awesome and fantastic and blah blah blah. I said, but you know, I said right now I'm just kind of going through some things with my job. I said, and I'm in the process of of transitioning. I said so every day that I go it just makes it harder and harder not harder to leave but harder to just be there and she said oh I understand so I told her you know about um, the second job and how um, everything is designed has been designed and set up for me and so she was like oh yeah she said she said believe in that she said they didn't even know nothing and just proposition you she said oh yeah that she said, mm hmm they want you. And she said, and the warm welcome. She said, that's what people need these days. I'm like, yeah, seriously. People want to feel appreciated. People don't want to, you know. And I, I honestly don't. Like, I mean, I've been there two years. And it's still, I walk through a hallway. People be talking. As soon as I walk up, they hush. I'm like, okay, was you talking about me, number one? Or was you talking about something that's inappropriate that you know you could get in trouble for if HR overhears it, number two? I, you know what I mean? So I'm just like, and, for, and furthermore, I'm not even there to be trying to, you know, ragtag on somebody. Like, you doing what you're doing, you doing what you're doing. Period. So anyway, um, but that kind of, that kind of stuff. Or this passive aggressiveness or this two-facedness i'm sorry are we in school well, i know we working but are we in school because i don't get down like that i don't play no games and maybe that's the problem maybe i'm too serious you know maybe i've been hardened in my life it could be i know i have a wall up to protect my peace definitely to protect my peace definitely to protect my peace because what the world you know what i'm saying so anyway but today's a new day Whew. i'm glad i did do a little bit of a little bit of shopping um yesterday you know i gotta take miss peanut she needs bras and things so we'll probably go to Kohl's this weekend We'll probably go today. So go to Kohl's and, um, you know, just try to pick up a couple, two, three things there. I really would like to get her like another pair of jeans or something. Um, I end up taking back those two pairs of jeans that I showed you in the Walmart haul. And I was able to exchange them for another pair or two other pair, but one of those pairs still didn't fit. So we definitely know her size now um and you know it is what it is so i want to at least get i told her two outfits but maybe just at least one 
you know and like i told her you don't have to wear new clothes every single day now that first day yeah that's that first day you know what i'm saying oh my goodness this guy's on this daggone bike jesus and he's just leisurely pedaling yeah get your behind out my way oh my god get on the sidewalk my lord shoot anyway but um I told you, you know, you can wear some brand spanking new on the first day, but you don't have to wear nothing, you know, super new on the days after. I mean, you just going to school. But I mean, I know teenagers, whatever. She wore a pair of her new shoes yesterday. They were so cute on her feet. She wore them to work. And uh, they was like, oh, look at your shoes. Oh, she is not ready to be back with those kids. I tell you that much. I will tell you that much. I don't think I told y'all this, but somebody hit the Corvette, the yellow one. So we're dealing with that now too. Um, uh, Got to take it in and have it fixed. They're going to have it for like three days. So yeah, boss man was none too pleased about that. But yeah, his car got hit. He was, um, he was downtown parked and a Buick Enclave backed into him onto his front end. And you know his car is so low and stuff, but mm -hmm. luckily the person has got real good insurance, so that's really, really a plus. Plus, they're gonna set him up with a rental car. Not that he technically needs it, but you know, I'm like, get it. I mean, whatever they offer, get it. Shoot, he ain't hurt or nothing. Luckily, he was in the car, okay? Because could you imagine him coming out and seeing that? Oh my God, I, whew, child, that was Monday when that happened. But um, but God is good and he's ever blessing. And I can't wait to give you guys a true, true, true update. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to end it here and I will see you guys when I get off work. Hey, everybody, I'm back. Who we I'm rushing. Well, I don't know why. I mean, technically, I'm not off work yet, but off work. So, you know, on Fridays, we're supposed to get off at like 245. Child. Anyway. It's 3.08. I'm just, you know, pulled off from there. Um, <clears throat> things are on the up and up and up and up and up. So I'm excited about that. Uh, oh, Jesus. Been going round and round with the negotiations. And here's the thing. They're not even talking to me. <laughs> they're talking to the manager. <laughs> so they're, you know... Because they're looking at, you know, my experience and all that. And, you know, child, anyway, anyhow. So, you know, and the manager's room, she's like, I want the top. The, you know, that's what she said. Give her the top and I'll, you know, sweeten the pot on the other end or something. Whatever. I don't know what she's talking about. Anyway. Uh, so, you know, she, the lady wanted to know, like, how much money did I make currently? And so I sent it to, you know and sent it to the manager and so she was like how many weeks that 52 weeks that 48 weeks what is that you know how much how often da, da, da. um she has a good argument right but um we shall see so now they want to see my contract so i had to send that over um so i sent that over and uh we shall see we're at the point we shall see so i just got an email from another place i forgot about this place i thought i didn't I thought they didn't, I don't know if I talked to these people before. I don't know. Anyway, they called me in for an in-person interview next week as well. Luckily, it's on my day off. <laughs> Child, when I tell you my hands hurt from typing today, and I'm still, still got a few things. So I set them up with as many interviews as I could, you know, Tuesday and Wednesday, because, you know, I ain't going to be there. So, child, listen. Anyway, anyhow. So... Um, yeah, we'll see how that goes, but whatever. A girl is off. A girl is off. A girl is off. Uh, I've already written my letter. It does say effective immediately. Um, I have not turned it in yet because, of course, it's not immediate at this time. But I, I sent my purse. And, uh, yeah. 
the email that was sent to me was not addressed at all at all I was like for real mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yep so anyway anyhow mm -hmm. yeah Child. I'm trying to think I, I need to take Miss Pina to go get her nails done for school and she wants to go shop for some bras but oh, excuse me. I'm thinking maybe I should hang out around the house just for a little bit longer just to see you know if I need to make a mad dash over to do some paperwork um I mean, because it's late in the game now. I'm sure this person gets off at like probably 4.30. I know the manager's done at like 3.30. So, don't hit me. Um, so, yeah. So, I'm like, Ugh. but whatever. You know, they're trying to get it signed, sealed, and delivered. Because um, they got to get the okay from the top. Once they get the okay from the top, then I just got to sign off on it and then, you know, things can move, proceed. Because I'm actually trying to start in a week. So, uh, like a week from today really is my last day. By the time you see this, it might be like two days from now. It might be that current day. I don't know. We shall see. Depends on what videos I throw out there. But anyway. <clears throat> so, yeah. Uh, we shall see, child. We shall see. We shall see. But, yeah, I wanted to talk about the email. Oh, just kind of like, and then I had my do not disturb on, you know, because I was doing interviews. So I get a message, are you doing interviews? Because I have things to file. I'm like, yes, I'm doing interviews. I'm getting ready to do another one, but you can come in the door if you need to. Door is not locked. <laughs> bunch of bull that's one thing that I'm going to be so happy that I'm not going to have to do any further is talent acquisition I'm over it you can talk about some paying some bills and stuff child okay put that stuff on automatic and keep it pushing you know what I'm saying child listen work smarter not harder okay so I need to go in the house and uh check well nothing's came through on my phone just yet so does that person have a windshield child that van did not have a windshield at all like at all oh my goodness Oh, Miss Pina waiting on me. All right, y'all. Well, that's going to be the end of this video. Just know that your girl was having a rough morning. Didn't even finish my coffee. You know I'm mad about that. But um, I'm good. I'm good. As long as I know the the wheels is really turning now. So I'm good. You know, um, I'm off for the next, what, five days? Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Girl, five days. You heard me? So <laughs> I'm about to relax. I'll see y'all in another video. Bye.